Dear Heavenly Father, how I bless your holy name for the wonderful work that your Holy Spirit is performing in my life as you would mold me and make me into the person that you would have me be. Thank you for the convicting work that you have done in my life and for the maturing process that continues to take place day by day as I yield to your ongoing teachings, trainings and corrective programs within me. Provide me, I pray, with your daily help and guidance and may I learn the many lessons that you are aiming to teach me as you continue to comfort and correct me. May I be willing to learn all that you would teach me and may I be increasingly sensitive to your warnings and promptings. Give me, I pray, ears to hear your still small voice and a willing heart to walk in the path that you will choose for me to follow. May I be willing to go where you lead, do what you would have me to do, and give up that which you choose to remove from my life, even if I don't understand. I pray that in the strength of your spirit, I may learn thy will be done no matter what the cost, and give me the courage to accept your will per time. Dear God, search my heart and reveal everything and anything in my life that is not right with you. Dear God, break every form of stubbornness and hardness of my heart. Father, Show me relationships that need to be restored. Help me to have a level of sensitivity to the Holy Spirit that I've never experienced. Dear God, grant me a deep conviction of sin, repentance, and a renewed fear of God. Dear God, give me a fresh spiritual hunger and fervency that I have never known. Dear God, bring love and unity and deep harmony in my church and in my family. Father, fill my heart with a passion to see people saved. Father, I pray that you would call many from among our church to missions and Christian service. Dear God, I pray that you will take what you do in our church, in our families, and use us to the forgeries of the gospel around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Dear Father in heaven, I have been drifting for too long in my spiritual world and know that I need a spiritual wake-up call. I pray that by your grace, you would help me to wake myself up from this spiritual slumber and turn from any spiritual idleness and indifference. I may have shown towards you. Rekindle the smoking embers of my faith and hope, my trust and obedience. How I praise and thank you that by grace you sent your Holy Spirit to dwell in my heart and that my body has now become a holy temple of God. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have ignored this truth and have neglected to live this life out in my life 
Forgive me for the many times I must have grieved or quenched your work in my life and renew a right spirit within me. I pray help me to put away my carelessness or attitude of indifference and may I grow in grace and knowledge of you, knowing this is your will in the lives of each of your children. Uphold me with your righteous hand and keep me ever looking to Jesus, who is both the author and finisher of my faith. This I ask in his name, who died for me so that I might live with him in glory. Heavenly Father, forgive me for the time I have spent far away from you and become preoccupied with my wants, my needs and necessities. Overlook me for the times that I have only sought you when I had a problem or discovered a need. Thank you, Father, for being faithful and always listening to my prayers, even on those occasions when I know I was not being faithful to you. Thank you, Father, that you remain faithful to your word and to your children, for whom I praise and worship you. Renew my spirit within me, I pray. Revitalize my truth and faith in you, so that I may serve you as you deserve, in humility of heart and willingness of obedience. May the living waters of life revive my dry and dusty soul, and plant me again, I pray, beside your still waters and a refreshing fountain. Rekindle within a spark of the wonder of who you are and light up a flame of love in my heart that has become dim and flickering because you are my God, who has redeemed my life from the pits and set my feet upon the rock of my salvation. Rescue me, I pray, from the parched wilderness and dryness of spirit into which I have wandered and lead me along the path that you would have me go. Awaken within me that spiritual fervor that only comes from you so that I may live from the day forward preoccupied with things that delight your heart and will forward your plans and purposes into my life and the lives of those around me. Thank you, Father, that for most of my life, you have been teaching me the principle of waiting, and I pray that you would continue to do so. Oh Lord, so many times in my life, I have asked that in your grace, you would equip me with gentle, God-like patience that does not seek to hurry up the process of your spiritual harvest, but waits for the planted seed to germinate and grow. And yet, I continue to recognize within myself an impatience to see your work completed. Thank you for the biblical picture in the Word of God, where the farmer patiently waits and yet expectantly for the seed to sprout and swell as the early and latter rains fall in their appointed season and as the sun shines its warming rays over the dormant crops. Help me more and more to apply this patient expectation to my own life where hope does not die and where forbearance does not deteriorate into despair. Keep me, I pray, from giving up, while endow me, my Father, with patient endurance and a passive yielding to your perfect will in every aspect of my life, 
may I be content to say, Thy will be done. And whether or not you choose to reveal the final answer to my persevering prayers, I pray that I may rest content knowing that you will do all things well. Thank you, Father, for the gift of the indwelling Holy Spirit who testifies with our spirit that we are your children. Thank you for the ongoing work within each one of our lives and thank you that he has stimulated us from the death, established us in Christ, sealed us in him, placed us into his body and is skillfully building us up as lively stones into a holy temple in the Lord. Thank you, Father, that your Spirit teaches us all things directs us into all truths, purifies our hearts, and cleanses our minds. When we hand over every thought captive to him in willing surrender, Lord, I thank you that no matter what difficulties and dangers flood our hearts and invade our lives, there is nothing that can separate us from your love and grace. Give us, I pray, that sufficient strength that you have promised to all your children who are facing problems and danger. And let us never forget that greater is he that is indwelling each of your children than the enemy that is in the world. Endures with spiritual strength and strength as we confront the future. Strong in the knowledge that we possess a heavenly home secured for us in heaven. Thank you, Father, that by your Spirit, you caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Teach me, I pray, by the power of your Holy Spirit, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest all the truth that are contained within the pages. Develop in me a heart that delights in your word, a mind that keeps its truth, and a will that seeks to apply all valuable lessons it contains. Give me wisdom and discernment to recognize any distortion of scriptures or false teaching that I may come across and help me not to follow a crooked path or to be swayed by any persuasive arguments. But help me always to be guided by your word of truth as you have promised to all who love your word. Grant me courage and grace to speak out your word of truth to all who may come across my path today. And I pray that in your strength I would voice your word of truth and love. Heavenly Father, I thank you that by your Holy Spirit, you caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Thank you that your word can furnish me with all the wisdom I need, which has led me to save faith in Christ and reconciliation with God. Thank you also that in the power of your Holy Spirit, you have promised to direct us into all truth. Enlighten us all that we may need to know and train me, I pray, to live a godly life in Jesus' name. Enable me to apply your word in my heart by faith, so that by your Spirit we may carry out the good work that you have. Enable me to apply your word in my heart by faith, so that by your Spirit we may carry out the good work that you have prepared me to do. In your power and in your glory, help us to treasure your word in our hearts and to meditate upon it day and night, knowing that all scripture 
is inspired by your spirit and is profitable for criticism and correction and training in righteousness. May the word of Christ dwell in us richly and that in the power of your spirit, you would search deeply into the inner recess of our hearts and minds to discover an area that is displeasing to you and to enable me to correct it to the praise and glory of your name. Dear Lord, bring me into communion with you that only grows richer and more splendid the longer it lasts. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who lives inside of me, reassuring, directing, correcting, and leading me. Enable me to hear the Holy Spirit and through Him to know you deeply. Father God, my delight is to do your will, and I pray I may learn to walk using the Spirit more and more with every passing day. Your word assures me that if I walk in spirit, I will not fulfill the lust of the flesh, and I will walk according to the will of the Father and live perfectly, submitting to the indwelling feeling of the Holy Spirit. Keep me, I pray, to look unto Jesus walking in spirit and truth and trusting you with my whole heart. I pray that in all things I would seek your face, I would listen to your gentle promptings and respond to your still small voice of conscience. Help me to live a devoted life where I respect others as myself. Deter me from engaging in any form of conflict, but rather may I exhibit an attitude of grace and patience that solely comes from you. Prepare me each day to walk in the Spirit, to live in the Spirit, and to pray in Spirit and truth. Ply me, dear Lord, as you will in the fortress of your kingdom, to your praise and glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.